society that would mould us. Guys, we're four minutes away the from the big queen. show. Yes. Not the man. No, that's a lie. We're four minutes away from this Uber ride from picking us up. And then we're going to the big show. So, we're out. We're about to head outside. I'm going to see you guys when we get there. Peace! I'm an institution. Contest here in Columbus. Whoa! I didn't know that. Yeah. And he struck up a friendship with the sponsor, Jim Larama. Mm. So, he said he wants to do a bodybuilding contest here in Columbus to commemorate this. Wow. And the first time they did it, they drew 4,000 spectators. Mm. Now there's over a quarter of a million. Yeah, that's insane. There's uh, 22,000 competitors from all states and 80 different countries. That come out to compete, right? Yeah, that come out to compete. Uh-huh. Time to go. We got the Arnold Classic. The classic of Arnold. 30 years in the making. <laughs> Woo! He said, Do I gotta be that loud? When your when your ass itches, do you scratch it? Yeah, Alright, but what you asking me? What's up with this guy? Massive crowd! Take his hoodie off so they can see the feet of fitness square shirt. Meeting Teron Beckham. Yo, Odem Beckham Jr.'s cousin was amazing, man. Yo, this man just finished lifting 700-pound deadlift, and then he came to the expo chilling and talking to everybody. Amazing, nah. Yo, what's up, guys and girls? This is your boy GP back at it, back, 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 back at it again. So I waited to meet Nick Wright, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been watching this guy for a while on YouTube, um, and it was amazing to finally meet him and talk to him. I always wanted to drive up to Rhode Island to get a workout with him, but you know, you don't, you don't want to be that guy and just show up at the gym. But um, it was really dope to be able to talk to him. He's the most realest guy that I've met on social media, I would say, that's just down to earth and cool, no, that's not true, uh, I did meet the guy on channel 4, I forgot his name, that does the sports, he's pretty cool too, but yeah, Nick Wright is definitely cool, um, he really showed that YouTubers, for the most part, they are who they say they are, or show they are, so this is what this beginning clip is, me telling them my perspective on him, and how um, he's not phony, he's not fake, he's not... He's not forcing an energy that's not him. He's being authentic. So then I asked him a question. Um, pretty much, how can I get people that I know that need it, but not necessarily going after it? How can I inspire them? And you know, he's gonna he's gonna talk about it later on. But pretty much, he says you you just gotta be you. You just gotta do your thing. Give your energy inspire yourself and then people will follow and be inspired and that's what I think it's amazing about him sorry about my voice it's a little bit of raspy um but yeah I really I, I really like the interaction with him and I think the guys and myself are really gonna plan a trip to go to Rhode Island and lift with him and he seems pretty cool with that he's he's willing to do it so we gotta hit him up soon so Nick if you're listening to this or watch this man we're gonna be up there soon and we're going to find a way to get you to Boston soon. I appreciate everything. Peace!
gonna be like, just let people realize that people might be like, oh, I want to smart to be like, yeah, and they might take out the lifestyle too. That segues into the fitness. But that's just one out of a million examples. But yeah, that makes sense. Like that. So just something that is moving, eye-catching, interesting, and inspiring for people, even if it's slightly off topic, that can reel them in.